Many of you, many of you are probably wondering what you're doing down here today, but we have a very special speaker. You have to really grab him quick because he's only in town a few days. I met Mr. Marcello the other day with uh, Mr. Hampton and Mr. Canfield down at the pavilion. And we thought it would be really important for him to come in here and talk to you in this informal setting. He's with an organization titled Step by Step. It's an organ transplant association. And he's going to speak to you this morning about the critical shortage of organs in this country and how it might actually pertain to you one day if one of you needs a transplant or a family member. So this is pretty, this is quite a serious topic. So if you would, would you please give him a warm welcome? Thank you, John. Uh, so how, how is everybody feeling after uh, exams? Oh boy, you guys look beaten up. Uh, anyways, uh, I want to introduce my uh, road crew first of all. Uh, Dave over there with the uh, black jacket. He's one of the uh, road managers. Brandon up there, uh, he's a recent graduate of uh, Fort Francis High. And he's on that road with us for the whole year. And the guy with the long hair doing the uh, camera work, uh, that's Travis Martin. Uh, he's uh, the road manager for us. Uh, I want to talk about two subjects uh, this morning. Uh, and one subject is, of course, organ donation. And the other subject is uh, Hummer. Which one should I talk about first? Why do all the school kids say that? <laughs> uh, okay, we have a Hummer parked outside, and I uh, hope everybody will get a chance to, to see it before we leave. Now what we're doing is we're putting up a raffle for two lucky winners to win two hours of ride on that Hummer for Saturday. So Travis is going to be the chauffeur, and he'll drive the, the, well, it'll be one winner, I'm sorry. One winner and two of their friends. Uh, we'll be able to drive wherever they want for two hours on Saturday, so uh, it's gonna be $2 a ticket, and the winner is going to be announced on the uh, radio station at five, uh, Friday, three o'clock. How does that sound? Okay, now we're going to talk about organ donations. Uh, <coughs> how many students here knew that Canada is the lowest in the whole world when it comes to organ donations? Uh, raise your hand. Okay, that's been pretty typical. Uh, Canada is the lowest. We have a big, big, big shortage here. And there's presently 4,000 people on the waiting list. And many of these people are waiting for organs desperately, or they're going to pass away. Uh, now, you know, it's a fact of life that most people will, will die one day. And what we're hoping to do is to encourage people to sign their donor cards so that organs can become available. Now, what I want to leave with you today is this thought. One person has the ability, the power, and could make the decision to save six people's lives. Isn't that awesome? That's a pretty powerful decision, you know. Um, I think if you see somebody drowning in the lake or something and you had the opportunity to go out and save that person, you would probably do that, right? So this is the same thing, you know. Uh, we need to uh, keep addressing this message right across Canada, and that's why I'm walking across Canada. Today is actually day 221. I'm losing track. I don't think I'm that far. Okay, well, it's around there. We gotta get straight on what day. I've been on the road so long. Uh, and I've uh, visited 122 cities and towns so far and uh, I've addressed over 100 schools like yours. And uh, we're, we're trying to get the message out to everybody, so, you know, uh, we, we, can make, we can have people think about this very important decision. 
So that basically why, why I'm here right now is, is to let you know about that, you know, so, and this is something that you can discuss with your parents also, you know, we'll talk to them about it, and, uh, you know, there's donor cards that, that could be signed. Uh, we're going to try and make arrangements to be at the KM this weekend. The, uh, uh, anybody going out there this weekend? Oh, God, you guys are too beaten up from the exams to have fun. The can is that what it's called, the KM? The KM Skidoo thing? Thank you. 